Hey there guys, we're taking a look at the new Intel drivers for the i5-1135G7 and they just recently dropped and Halo Infinite is almost playable. Uh, you might be noticing there's something off here and uh, it's the fact that there is no HUD <laughs> and that is just a bug here where there no HUD is rendered at any point and uh, I can't do anything. I can't change classes. I can't, I can't even disconnect from this. I pretty much just was trapped here, which is a real punishment, though at least it's not as bad as it was before where i needed to have an epileptic seizure warning up because it was such a disaster although we get a little bit of that happening here and there but really the experience of just playing this is almost there it's almost there it might actually be playable on intel in like maybe two more driver releases it's just funny to think that we're not all the way there yet and there are still the occasional flickers and glitches here but it's not anywhere near as bad as it was before but progress is being made and who knows this might actually Actually be playable by the time that the arc gpus actually start to ship but i figured well if this is functional then what other games that i was having issues with are now functional so here i am trying to load into far cry 6 because it's a game that has given me constant problems on the i5 pretty much just crashing and giving me graphical issues all the time unfortunately that is not resolved here we are still having artifacts and just graphical glitches that eventually just lead to the game crashing so definitely another one that we still have to continue to wait for intel to eventually potentially make a fix for of course i wouldn't get your hopes up because there are still even older games that are having issues here you can see batman arkham knight still refuses to even attempt to launch it just still continues to crash on me it is not functional it is still not fixed and i don't expect it to get fixed anytime soon now i was gonna include star wars squadron in here too because it would actually also give me a issue with this gpu but unfortunately the ea app just refuses to work on this laptop right now so this is all I could show you right now, but so far, kind of still disappointed by these Intel drivers.